Bugger. I bought the bigger the bigger squeeze tubes as ideally I'll be going through a I lot of out the other areas so I'll give her a squeeze grab a screw to get it started and that's this middle one here and you can see it set so I'm noticing there's a bit of squeeze out that's a good thing <laughs> Together. I'm going through the whole frame now and I'm going to attach them all and I'm going to cut out the plywood and uh, but I've gotten some panels out of the cabin cruiser uh, why not utilize this so there's uh, the glue laid out for the plywood for the bow section uh, fortunately I miscut that forgot that I'm adding an inch and a half um, uh, two by two across the top to help support the deck but I'm not going to waste it. Good. So all the joints are glued. And uh, you can see the joints. Now any excess that comes out, I've used to fill old screw holes, little defects. Here um, shows the batten in position with nails set into their appropriate measurements. You can see I've cut on a couple of uh, old boxes. We should be able to uh, mark off the other one. Uh, off the piece of now wire. I've uh, clamped a big badass 2x6 fairly straight onto this frame to straighten it out. And uh, just the plywood will come to here, the I've next piece I'm doing on. The wood. Now it's just time to apply the, the uh, adhesive, which you can see has spit a hell of a lot out so that, but I'm not gonna waste all that so it's very easy to just scoop it up with a spatula I mean so here's the first frame put together uh, these are two longitudinal I'd call them kind of trusses with full width frames frame. uh, will be egg crated and into went and got some um, inch and a half air nails and uh, air nailed it which you have to be careful you got to clamp the plywood in order to uh, make sure that it's tight to the wood because the air nail won't draw it. That's where I like screws a little bit better. You can see the size of the cabin is the lower section of ply here. There'll be room enough for a queen size bed and uh, a cock, uh, sorry, interior seating uh, so that it can be sailed inside. And the cockpit is going to be not huge and but comfortable. comfortable. Here you really see the shape well, I think, of what the, the boat will be. And uh, you can see it'll get its bow nicely out of the water, which is a good thing for a pram bowed sailboat. It's looking pretty good. They book up. It looks like a deck, uh, boat deck, but it is not. It's just two frames uh, set down on their flats opposite one another. So here I'm just trimming up the, uh, the uh, little corner block there to the correct angle. Now here, sameness counts. So I'm looking to book match both frames so that they're exactly the same. They both should be pretty good, but the reality is uh, when you're working with large wood frames like this, uh, the two by eight, for example, shrinks at least an eighth of an inch depending when you assembled one or the other. So at any rate, you may have an eighth here or there to trim off. Uh, so I'm well aligned throughout here. Yeah, it's all trimmed. It didn't take too long using the power planer. And uh, if you note the two all the way along here, the curves, I have, I have still the PL to clean up a little bit there. Uh, but the alignment's good. And I had to take off just an eighth off the, the top uh, bow frame here to get it to uh, align. The table saw that I worked off of, I designed and built that. And I worked off of it for uh, about 20 years. So I have to show you. The motor runs both the table saw and it also runs an arbor uh, under there that pivots up and for a shaper. And there's a router table on the end. So she does cut like a dream. She does really good. And a good hand saw gets it done pretty much where it is. I 
recommend a, a Japanese saw. This blade is actually tremendously worn out and old, and I stretch my garbage till the very end. So, but that'll all it'll all just step into place, and and you just keep moving along. So here, oh, forgot to turn down the music. With all the two by twos attached, so that's one done. I have the other one to do tomorrow. Through the ends into the next piece with uh, three and a half inch uh, deck screws. Here you see a screw right there. Okay, to wrap up uh, this this uh, full length frame, uh, I keep mentioning there's two of them, which is not really normal in a boat, but uh, that's how I like to do my pram bowed boats. Um, it is all so glued up it, um, and it'll dry for tomorrow. Uh, and then I can tip it up and, and air nail the remaining uh, frames that haven't been air, air nailed. I did do the ends where I had access. So looking pretty good, I think. It's an opinion kind of thing, right? And, and there's the one that I hung up on the, on the rafters there. And that'll be D telling me it's time to go. We have a dinner thing that we got to go. So let's go.